Hey, 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 guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with another episode of Fishing Planet, and we are back here at Kaji no Ri, and I did go back and went ahead and got the mutant lobsters. I will tell you guys, honestly, it does take a while, and there is, there's no way around it. You're just going to be working at it probably for maybe a couple hours. I did, and I've heard the same thing from other people. But, I did manage to get the last of them, and it opened up a new mission as soon as I got it, and it says the Kajino Ri in search of a sunken vessel. Basically, a sunken lobster boat was seen near one of the islands. Let's explore the waters to find out the place where the monster was last seen. Use a tablet map. All these places are marked on it. Oh, gosh. So, I have to find this thing. Now, let me tell you real quick here, guys. I had the most luck, if you can... Let me go ahead and bring up my map here. I had the most luck. I've tried over here for a while. I tried over here for a while. Heck, I even tried over here. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. I even tried over here for a while. I've had more luck. With, I've had more luck right here at this location for them. Than any other, and let me go ahead and zoom in here. Yeah, right at this particular island, of course, the markers aren't there anymore. But if you throw it right, I don't know if you can see it, but right there in that little notch right there, at one point I caught three almost right straight in a row. Then I didn't catch any for a long time, and then I caught like one or two, then I didn't catch any for a really long time, and then I didn't, and then I finally caught the last three. But anyway, that's where I had the most luck. I don't know if that's going to help you guys, but that's where I got them. Anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at this on the map here. So, it's saying, I thought it said multiple locations, so... It's saying right here, check the spot near Marina. Alright, well, let's go ahead and jump here. Let's put that away. We're going to just have to sail for that. We've got a little bit of lag here. I don't know what the deal is. Let's see. Can I see it on the map here? Well, I can't zoom in now. I do see it over to my right, I think it is. So let's try to get this thing turned in here. Yep, that's it. There we go. Okay, now it's zooming in. Not sure why it does that. Every now and then it seems to hang up. Well, there's a little bit of a trek, but not too bad. Like I said, it is near the marina. Let's go ahead and head this way. I'll bring you back once we get there. And we'll see what we're up against. Alright guys, I am back and we are in the location. It just popped up now. I'm trying to see if I see what I'm supposed to see here. Uh, I don't know. Supposed to find a wreck. Oh, check the second spot near the big sandy island. Oh, they're gonna make us trek around. How nice of them. Oh gosh, let me see here, guys. 
Let's go ahead and shut this off. Bring up our map. Sandy Island. Where is the Sandy Island? Are you kidding me? All the way over there, huh? <laughs> oh my goodness. All This is called Sandy Island. I didn't know it had a name. Well, I could fast travel if I had the ability. But if I try it now, because I've already fast traveled at least once, it's going to charge me for it. Yep, I can't do it for another 24 minutes. I have to either take the long way or lose my bait coins. Well, shoot. Sucks. And they're not making it easy. Well, we got a bit of a trip to make. But not too bad. It's really not too bad. Well, might as well suck it up and head that way. And open her up. Well, they couldn't make it too easy, you know. The Try Hard Nation had to make it tough. I don't know if you guys know what the Try Hard Nation is, but it's all those people that are out there that play these video games. It's just insane. It's not difficult enough. It's not challenging enough. It is challenging enough. Leave it alone. Yeah. It's going to take us a minute to get there, guys. So when I get close to it, I'll bring you back. Something tells me we're going to be traveling again. Alright, guys. We're almost near the second spot near the... Sunk, let's see. The Big Sandy Island is what it's called. Pretty sure that's why it's called that because it's pretty big and it's pretty sandy. Check this out here, guys. We're gonna go ahead and slow this down. We're getting there, slowly but surely. Hung up on the sand or something? I think we are. A really shallow super shallow water here. Okay, we're out of it. Alright, the area to the west of the island. Alright. Let's take a look here. West of the island. Way down here? Another track. Well, I hope this is the last one. Apparently you can't get too close to that island, otherwise you get stuck. That is interesting.
get lined up with that marker. And let's open her up. It's not a huge distance. We might get there fairly fast. I mean, we could have been worse. We could have had to go to the other side of the island. Or down where the tuna spot that I found in the last episode. <laughs> Alright guys, we are closing in on it. It did take quite a while to get here. That's for sure. But we don't want to skip by it. There's a trawler. I don't know if this is the sunken vessel we're looking for, or if this is just another leg of the mission. Let's slow down here a little bit. Do not want to miss it. Oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, man. Oh. Alright, let's stop. We got fish down there. Now, where do we have to go? Check the rocky islands that attract birds. Okay. Yeah, I've never been over in this part of it. You know, since I've come all this way, I'm probably going to go ahead and throw a navigation buoy out here. Once I do get here, because I won't have to come back. Something tells me this is a good spot to fish. So it's not a total loss, that's for darn sure. All this traveling. Let's see here. Alright, we're gonna have to line this up. Open her up again. It's not too far though. You're not really that far off. So I don't sure I'm gonna go ahead and stop this. I think I'm gonna keep it going for now. Yeah, we're gaining on it pretty fast, so this might finally be it. I don't know. Let's slow it down. Pass anything up. And we're here. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Check the fifth spot. Well, I am going to go ahead and put a navigation buoy here, honestly. After I came all this way out here, I might as well, because this looks like a good spot to come and fish at some point. And I don't have to travel all that distance again. Okay, so I need to go down to this location. Okay. Killing me. Fifth spot, huh? I have to get around these islands. I'm going to run out of night time because I'm afraid we're going to. I have to skip to the next day in order to catch this guy. Yeah, I had not noticed these islands before. And since they are here, like I said, placing that navigation buoy is only going to benefit me. Lord knows what we'll find as far as fishing spots there and what kinds of species are found here. But definitely worth the time. Sometimes these missions are just methods for opening up new areas. Let's see here guys, we're getting close. Getting close. I don't know if this is going to be 
bottle. We're gonna have to go one more spot. This spot, huh? We're almost there. Six spot! <laughs> oh, you're killing me, guys. You're killing me. Let's see here. Six spot. Holy lord. All the way back here. Yeah, see, now I have a navigation buoy here, and honestly, it'd be a bad idea to have one here, too. I don't know. Maybe. This definitely puts me closer to it. No, it's not going to. Okay. Not going to help me enough to get there, that's for darn sure. Let's. We're at the end of the map. Now we'll just open it up and travel the distance. Boy, is it quite a distance. Thank you, Try Hard Nation. All right, guys, we are closing in on the spot. Took a while, that's for darn sure. But we're going to need to slow down. We've got a lot of rocky islands near us. But I think this is the final spot. At least I hope. It says it's the last spot the fishing boat was seen. So we'll find out. No, no! <laughs> Explore the small archipelago to the west of the island. Oh my goodness. Where are we going now? Ah, even farther. I hope this is it, guys. <laughs> Jesus. We could have just gone from here to here. We know that's where we had to go. <laughs> yep. There it is in front of us. Let's just set it up to full speed and travel that way. That's all we can do. Alright guys, we are near the archipelago, and there's a lot of small islands here we're going to have to weave in and out of, it looks like. We're seriously close now, that's for sure. Looks like we got a little too close to that one. It's hard to see. A lot of islands here. All right, I think we got through. You can't really, you can't damage the boats, really. Let's go ahead and slow this down, because we are definitely homing in on it now. Well, maybe. <laughs> Maybe we are. They've led us on quite the merry chase. Okay. Echo Sounder, deep sea precision. To accurately calibrate the sonar data from the deep sea layer, you need to target fish that are primarily bottom dwellers. Using bottom fishing rods, catch green job fish, a root snapper, species native to the ocean's floor. Snapper lives near rocky reefs and at depths from 300 to 1300 feet. Okay. 7600 XP and Bay Coin 4600 cash. As you know, reinsurge of a sunken vessel. Now all you have to do is prepare and wait. 
Okay. Prepare and wait, huh? Eh, it's quite the mess here. So. Uh, what am I supposed to do? To another. Let's see. It's got me over there. Go back to fish monsters here. Fishing together, Kaji no Ri. There's a new angler's horn in the unruly sea abyss. A gigantic striped marlin. Okay, this is not one I was aware of. Wait a minute, let's check the group Brazilla. Alright, this is the one we need to do. Equip the bottom gear and mutant lobster. Catch the monsters. So there's two monsters here. Holy crap! Cool! <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and track this mission, guys. I did not know there was another one. That is so cool. That means we are not done yet. All right, we need to equip the bottom gear and the mutant lobster and catch the monster. I assume we're going to have to catch him right here. Let's go ahead and set, set the anchor. Let's go ahead and set the anchor just to make sure that we don't move any. I can only assume he's down there somewhere. Let's go ahead and get the big bottom rod here. I'm going to put a big hook on here because I have a feeling this guy is huge. Okay, let's see what we got. Cap and hook. Saltwater curve. Let's go with the 18. I'm betting you this guy is a monster, like I said. Well, he is a monster, technically. The snapper sinker 14 ounce. And. Oh. It's a mutant monster bait here? Yeah, it is. So we got 10 of them. They better work. That's all I can say. Try right here. Not sure how deep it is, but we're going to need to go as deep as we can. I was a little worried we were going to run out of time here. It's already almost 3 o'clock, but I think we're all right. I guess we just wait at this point. Not sure how long it's going to take. What if he show up on the sonar here? Not seeing anything. That's not a good sign, guys. <laughs> We're not seeing anything big on the sonar. We might not get this guy. It says to catch the monster. That's where he's supposed to be. Alright, guys. Still no reaction. I think we're going to try to advance it. I'm going to go with what the consensus of my colleagues are saying. Advanced time, basically. <laughs> Let me go ahead and reel this in. I hope this works, because I hate to waste time and 
any money, if at all possible. Alright, we're back. Let's go ahead and put this sucker out here. Oh, this one. Let it go all the way to the bottom. Choose you where the grouper hang out. So now we just wait. See what happens. I don't know. It's supposed to be here. Alright, looks like we are getting something here. Let's see if something. Oh boy, I think we might have him. It took a while. It definitely took a while. I waited here for about 10 minutes. I was starting to think that nothing was going to happen. We have a bite, and it is something massive. Now, this honestly could be a regular grouper. Not the grouperzilla, but... I'm hoping, because it's the right location, that's what we're after, guys. We're going to be probably fighting this guy for a minute, if it is, because if I did my math correctly, some of my colleagues that have caught this guy, he weighs about 600 pounds. I don't know if that makes him the biggest fish in the game that you can catch, because now that we've thrown this, this monster marlin in the in the mix we might have the biggest fish here guys I don't know but he's definitely up there on scale <coughs> and we're not making a whole lot of progress this is gonna be a fight this is going to be a fight awesome so awesome He is straining my gear to its fullest extent, and this is no Mickey Mouse gear. This is heavy, heavy gear, guys. Think about this, guys. He took down an 18 aught hook. 18 aught. That is a massive hook. All right, let's see what we got here, guys. We're getting. Well, we. sort of gaining a little bit. I don't know that I would call it that, but he keeps making up, making up for it. <laughs> now nah, he he caught back up again. Something tells me we're going to be fighting this guy for a minute. This is not going to come easy. This We're going to have to work for it. He's already back up to 120 feet. We've gotten down in the 90s, but that's the best we've been able to do so far. Yeah, we're going to have to tire him out with basically just gonna have to tire him out. He's gonna have to run out of energy and well we've got over a thousand feet to bring him in so we should have no problem with that. And he hasn't really taken him over 130 yet so don't think he's gonna 
get too far. Just a matter of being consistent with him. Several moments later. Alright guys, we are sort of getting down in scale with this guy. He keeps gaining and then we keep gaining on him. But he's... Shoot, he's taking it back out to 120. I had him down to the 50s. And he just went right back up over 100 again. He is so big. And he's not tiring yet. Holy crap, this guy is so big. Right back in the 120s again. Jesus. Amazing. See how he just gets right back up there? Well, guys, I'll keep at it. I think it's still going to take a while. We have to wear him down. Much, much, much later. Alright, guys, we are gaining a little bit here. I don't know if we're going to make it down here or not, but you're down to 30 feet, and now we're in the 20s. Now we're in the teens. Back in the 30s again. Dang on it. Cannot believe we got so close. Gaining again. He had a second wind. Jack got it. This guy is going to be a massive pain in my butt. He was in the teens, my god, guys, really. He was actually in the teens. He was almost where I could gaff him. Come on! You gotta be kidding me! We got him! We got him, guys! We got him! There he is! Holy crap! Holy crap! 600 pounds. 100 inches. 556,224 cash. 62,750 XP gained. Holy crikeys, guys. His head is so big it takes up the entire screen. Oh my god. This is awesome. He was not easy to catch. Let's see what this guy can looks like. I can't even imagine. Oh my god. I can't even see my face. <laughs> he is massive, guys. 
600.308 pounds. Lord have mercy, that's a big fish. We finally got him. Definitely got to get a picture of him. Seriously big fish. Holy crap. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I would be able to hold a 600 pound fish in my hands like that. <laughs> Sorry. Not unless I had some superhuman powers. But. Still. Definitely impressive. Well, we got him, guys. 100 inches even. Let's keep him. And we leveled up. And I'm not surprised about that. <laughs> not, not surprised at all. We've got all this stuff opened. Basically a new XL Rodster rod case. Some new jigging spoons. Spider grubs. More cap and hooks. Another Tropicana. And we also got all this XP in addition to that. All this cash in addition to that. And three bay coins. And this Gruberzilla mount. Holy crap, that was definitely worth my while. Well, looks like we they're trying to get me in the uh, Echo Sounder Deep Sea Precision mission. And we will do that eventually. <laughs> I think what we're going to eventually do, though, before we do that... I want to look at this monster mission thing again. Fish monsters. Yeah, it looks like there's a new Anglos Horror and a really sea abyss. A gigantic striped marlin has cut through tackle with its sharp sword like snout, has earned it the nickname the Striped Blade. First step is to acquire a unique teaser. This sea monster is very fond of squid. Catch a few dozen squid while fishing with a friend. On a boat. Oh, gosh. So you can only get it if you team up. <laughs> you have to team up with a friend. Oh, man. That's tough. Well. We'll get there, guys, eventually. I'm hopefully we can get Lockbuff to get involved with this with us. Or maybe we can talk to Bo Angle. I don't know. He said he would be more than willing to do a collaboration with me, but I'll see if he still has the time available, because, you know, he's like big time. I am just, you know, small potatoes, but I would be more than willing to work with him without any issues whatsoever, <laughs> believe me. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please be sure to sh share, comment, like, and subscribe, and I will be back with another episode of Fishing Planet. So until then, guys, as always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.